easy to see in there to film me with the mic on. What's up, you say? What's up, you say? I'm excited to be back. The environment, the atmosphere. You know, it's brutal, but we love it. Spiteful, ferocious, clinical, barely missed a shot. Can't wait, can't wait. Seeing your fire in action in his hometown should be fun. Solomon Dakers as well. I think it's just good to see the next generation um, of boxing. And obviously, yours truly is hosting it. So enjoy the show, peeps. Me and Galau are like the total opposites in every way. Um, I'm tall, he's short. <laughs> I'm a bit more loud, he's a bit more quiet. Um, but a good friendship overall, you know. If you, if you need somebody to talk to, he needs somebody to talk to. I'm there. And just throughout our time on GB, we just grew. Uh, we used to cook for each other. And, you know, so I'm looking forward to seeing him uh, perform. And I think tonight you guys will see some of the best of Galau Yafa. <laughs> Just to get him fired up, so it's a warm up that he does every single like workout that he does, working his shoulders, rotational ability, glute strength, and then we do some boxing specific work, getting his feet, feet fired up, calves fired up, to get him nice and lucid. Can you explain on camera what you forgot to hear that? Everything that I needed. <laughs> the, band, the bands, the music, <laughs> the brains, the brains are still left in Sheffield. <laughs> Listen, uh, the whole the whole performance for me, right from round one, how he came out and how he, he established his authority on the fight. That he wasn't in his first couple of fights. He's been because he's relying on his speed. But he's wanting to get out. He's got to get out quick. Yeah. Remember this kid, he's so been fighting 15 year olds, that's the last time he fought yeah. until he turned professional. So he's now starting to get into the man's game, his understanding, you know, the, um, the strengths that he's got in, in the sport. And just slowing it down a little bit, picking things a little bit, and you see the end result. So, you know, such a good performance. I'm over the moon for it because he deserves it. Yeah, he's hard though, he scurries around the ring, Ali boxing. him. But did you enjoy Yeah, but you know what? I had a knuckle injury. Yeah. Coming before prior the before the fight. So I'm watching him. Yeah. Oh. Backing off. The chopper is getting the chopper. The chopper's coming out. <laughs> I've got to move the fuck out. I've got to move that head. Move that head. Chop that right hand. Chop that right hand. Move the head. He's only had one coffee. He's only had one coffee. Look at this. One coffee. It was a double express earlier. Ah, oh, shit, my camera. <laughs> I can't wait to get in there, mate. Birmingham. Uh, it's fuck, I'm, it's weird, isn't it? It's uh, tingles all over me when I just walked out here now. A good feeling, a good feeling. I'm not, you know, take me home and I'm, I am home and that's where I am, so. It was tough and he could whack, so I thought if he gets up, or I have my way. I still have to have my wits about me. Mm -hmm. But uh, buzzing, lovely shot. I like that's twice now I've caught with an uppercut left hook, so yeah. Yeah. body snatcher. <laughs> Bismillah, let's go, lads. Let's go. Spider, you're the best, bro. Yeah, it's your time. Your listen time. to the corner, don't listen to the crowd. Spray, yeah, it's your time, bro. Spray, yeah, spray enjoy it, fam. Skeezer, to see in there to film me with the mic on. Yeah. What's up, you say? What's up, you say? Let's fucking go, Spider!
lads. Let's rock and roll, lads. That's a great performance, great atmosphere in here. Popular young man with a big future. Off to a winning start, fast hands, very exciting. Oh, good evening. Well done, man. Well done. Yes. My prediction for Jordan's fight, uh, Kim Baker tonight, is Jordan, obviously Jordan win, but you know, obviously he's, he's got to be, he's got to be switched on. Um, obviously, seen from the last fight, if you know, if, if he hadn't got him, got, got him out of there in the early rounds, Kim Baker's there to, for the later rounds, so you know, he's got to be switched on, and, and, and he knows that it's a good position for Jordan to be in, going for a whole camp, um, you know, getting ready for a fight that you've already beaten. So he's had the wind in his sails. Um, he only had five, six weeks last time with us and the still City Gym before the last fight. So yeah, he's very confident, he's very fit. Um, he's been looking uh, good in sparring, probably better than he was the, the first time around when he was more just going straight into wars for however many rounds in the ring. Um, he's a much better boxer than people realise. Do you know what? I get excited watching Kane. You know, obviously he's a former opponent of mine. No one knew who he was, and he's caused some upset to some prospects. Um, and you know, he always delivers entertainment. He always comes for it. He always gives it something. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, you know, Jordan Flint. You know, good amateur, good fighter. He's excited to see what happens tonight. I felt really hard done by it. It's not very fair. I've come to Birmingham. I beat him the first time. I gave him a rematch in his hometown, which is, that's saying a lot about my character. I've come all the way to his hometown and fought him in front of everyone. And then I've got caught a draw, which is very unfair. It's not, it's not very nice, is it? Good. Showtime. Edging to get in there, yeah. yeah good man, relax, chilling. Yeah. It's a job soon. I've been in the, the deepest end of the, of the trenches, do you know what I mean? And I've prevailed and came through. So that's always in the back of my mind that if it does go into that kind of similar circumstances, then I can do the same again if I have to. Obviously, the winning's always important, but I'm here for the knockout. I'm always here for the knockout. The knockout if the knockout's there, I'm going to take it 100%. Because he kept swinging his head, you know, right back. Oh, but it was good, though. But then I put the right hands there. Yeah. And then he just got, whoa. It's just my fault. 
Yeah, I feel good. Uh, ready now. Uh, excited. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I always go to f for a win. Um, stoppage. We we'll see. I don't want to speak too soon, but I always go to fight. Good. We're ready. Excited. This is the fun <laughs> bit. <laughs> Can you just that went on a bit? Can you just go and fucking destroy this place? Well, that's oh, that's 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 Good, yeah, but glad in a way because uh, if he was going to fight that against me, you know, he seemed to be wobbling off every shot, bless him, you know. So I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad in a way it's not happening because he might have ended up getting a little bit hurt. But uh, at the same time, I'm, I'm, uh, I feel, I feel sorry for Sai. He's a great kid, you know. He's, he's fit as a fiddle, and uh, it's a shame for him. Uh, as I was walking out there, Frank just pulled, pulled one side there and said, "Oh, we'll, we'll talk here, we'll, we'll, you know." So hopefully they'll come up, come with something, and. Uh, we're fitting ready, got the tunes up on also, but sadly not to be. So hopefully we'll have a big fight and we'll get the arenas like the back like the good old matchroom days back and back and buzzing. Getting the band back together, it's lovely seeing all the old faces and stuff and say uh, I've lost all my hair since the last seniors, <laughs> but it's it's been good crack and uh, good seeing all the lads. Galal Yafai is possibly the best prospect in world boxing. Kid's an unbelievable freaky talent, Olympic gold medalist, been there, seen it, done it, got the t-shirts. He's exceptional. So, you know, we're all here to watch him and support him tonight, but there's a number of boys on the card I'm just looking forward to getting out there. Boxing's back in Birmingham. 
Birmingham's a massive city and it's been starved of its mm. stars for many years. The EFIs have single-handedly single-handedly carried this city. They really have amateur pro. I know Sam Eggington might have something different to say and he's been fantastic. He's been a great servant to the sport, but you want to see these lads shine at the highest level like Cal Yafai and that's where they can go and I just believe big time boxing on a full time basis will be back in Birmingham now. It's two years ago this month that he won gold at the delayed Olympics and I'm not surprised that he's being moved along so quickly because he's got such an outrageous talent and I think it'll be interesting tonight against a tough domestic opponent and we can measure against the opponents that Frank has faced in the past, good quality opponents, but not quite with that stardust, that, that, that sprinkle of gold that, that Galal Yafai brings to the ring. So we can make some really interesting comparisons after tonight. We keep forgetting Galal's 30 years of age. Galal's a man. He's been in two Olympic cycles. He came away with that gold medal, one of the rarest things. He's having these staggeringly hard fights already in his career. So if he was a 23 year old, We'd be looking at Sonny and I'd be saying, you know what, give him a few years. But I don't know if you need to give him a few years. And I really mean that seriously. I'm not saying he can fight him tomorrow, but could, could Galau fight Sonny Edwards next summer, by next summer? I think he could. shot he threw. He showed that his level's above this British level right now. Level's above, level's level. Declaring your winner by TKO and still the WBC International Flyweight Champion, Galau Yafai. Face to face. He goes to me, oh, he looks a lot bigger than you, really. <laughs> Basically, you've been done like a kipper. Yeah. So you've won, but you've been done like a kipper I'd at the same I, I time. I said to you after, I said, all right, watch. We'll see, we'll see you now. <laughs> in a way. No, that's all right. No headache, no dual vision. Ah, no, that's too quick, aren't it? Yeah, no. That's too quick. It was good, um, you know, it's what we worked done in camp. Um, obviously, we worked hard for the 10 rounds, but it happened in a, in a round and it happens. And uh, nice, uh, I, felt, I felt strong, I felt good warming up. Um, 
I was actually in a rush. I wanted to get out there. Um, I'm not used to fighting this late, but now I was, uh, I was happy and uh, yeah, I'm glad it's done. I'm just going to meet him with uh, all Van Lefts. I can't, you know what, I can't even remember. I'll have to watch it back. Um, but now it was, they were good clean shots because I, I seen his nose go straight away. Um, but yeah, I just got to keep going, keep working hard and hopefully keep winning. <laughs> Yeah, you're done sparring him. Yeah. <laughs>